Praise the Lord. Well, thank you again for being with us today. We appreciate that. It's Tuesday, and so I trust you're having a great week this week. The Lord, um, the Lord encourages us every day, doesn't He, in our life? You know, Praise God. and uh, you know, today, today, Pastor Marsh, I want to talk about um, about the subject of uh, do we respect God? You know, I've been meditating in Psalms, and, and I see David's attitude toward God, you know. It doesn't mean that David was a perfect man, but but he had uh, thoughts, and, and, he, and you could tell by the way he writes how much he loves God. Well, and the, so The topic would be the fear of the Lord. Yeah, we yeah. say fear, and people think of being yeah. frightened, frightened by or scared or something along. But we're talking about the respect. Respect and talking. reverence for God. You yeah. have a scripture yeah, you want to share? Yeah, the scripture is Psalm. 112 1 praise the Lord how joyful are those who fear the Lord and delight in obeying his commands hallelujah when I say uh, when I say this right here uh, do you respect the Lord what, what do I mean by that and and not only what do I mean by it but how do you show your respect right. to the Lord you know one of the things that we're big in in our family is um, teaching our children to respect their elders to show respect that's, that's right. by the things that they say and how they act and you know attitudes, attitudes things okay. like that right there and and so I think the same thing is true about our our reverence or respect of God let me give you another scripture I, I ran across this one the other day I was just so blessed it's Ecclesiastes and uh, the book of Ecclesiastes maybe not be one of my favorite books because it can be pretty up and down, you know. <laughs> but but these are from chapter 12. This is the last chapter in Ecclesiastes. And these are the very last two verses in Ecclesiastes. And he says this. Now, what should we learn from everything that is written in this book? Remember, this is a book that says there's a time to be born and a time to die. There's a time to cry. There's a time to laugh. And, you know, so Solomon, he's, he's talking about all of these uh, things in our life. You he's know, talking about life happens. Life happens, yeah. <laughs> and this is how he is. He says, he said, this is, the, this is what we should learn from this book. The most important thing a person can do is respect God and obey his yeah. commands because he knows about everything people do even the secret mm. things he knows all the good and all the bad and he will judge people for everything they do and so I, I thought about that I thought about um, uh, how we respect and how we honor God and uh, I, I'm going to say this um, and I don't mean it in the wrong way but I think a little bit of fear is healthy uh, and by that, I mean awe of God, right. because God holds our eternity. When we leave this life, God holds our eternity of where we're going to spend eternity, whether it is with him or whether it is in hell. He's going, he holds that. And I don't know about you as much. I love God, uh, but I'm I'm kind of like okay, God. You know, I mean, it's a it, it's a healthy respect. It's a healthy. Well, he is God. Uh, he knows. Yes. He knows everything. Boy, that's what that and, verse says. And the Word tells us if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, and you've repented, you are going to heaven. Yes, Amen. But you still have an awe of God in that. Yes. How could He love us so much? Why? How could He love us in spite of ourselves? His mercy and His grace that He extends to each of us. But that doesn't mean we should not respect Him. Yes. That's what's happened with the grace message. Yes. Too many people just go out and do what they want to do, saying, well, He's going to forgive me. No, we have a God that we need to obey His commandments and do what He's called us to do, right? Amen. Uh, Amen. I, I believe that to respect God means to admire Him with praise and love, but it's also mixed with awe and reverential fear of God because he's God. I mean, folks, let me, he's God. And so we need to understand that in our lives that how much, uh, and I think our worship, you know, our worship actually speaks of that, how right. much we love him right. and minister But see, him. the world does not worship no. God. No, no. We're they, they, we're getting, we're seeing the world get further and further away and you're seeing Christians get closer and closer to God. Amen. That's what we've got to do. Amen, absolutely. We've got to get closer to our absolutely. Lord. So my question for you today is, do you respect and honor God in your life? Because your life will show that. 
Let me pray for you today. Father, I thank you that each one that is listening to this program today, that Father God, that they will... They will honor you, Lord, by everything they do and by everything that they say, Father God. That their lives will show that respect and that, that reverential awe and fear that they have, Father God, for you. We love you and we honor you today with everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.